In this video, I'll review Microsoft Office on Windows Phone 7. When you open up Office, you get taken to, um, first of all, OneNote comes up here. And if you use OneNote, you can look through all of your notes here. But I use OneNote on my tablet PC where I actually write on my screen. And if I can show you here, this is my tablet PC, and I actually write stuff in pen on the tablet PC in OneNote, and that cannot translate onto the phone, which means that only typed notes can be transferred to the phone. You can sync it with your SkyDrive, and if you go to SkyDrive from the browser here, I have it in my favorites. And if you open up where you have your OneNote synced from your PC to SkyDrive, you can actually open the OneNote notebooks and it'll synchronize into your Office OneNote on the phone and it'll keep them in sync. But remember, it can only be text notes or I guess it can have pictures too. Like, those are pictures. But that's all it can sync. So, in OneNote, you can view the text and pictures. You can comment on something. You can edit it. And you can make voice notes about something, which is nice. You can insert pictures, add a list, format text. So you can do some basic stuff. You can email it to someone or pin it to your start screen. And it automatically saves to SkyDrive. Now, let's go into Word. So you can view Word documents, and if you get a document emailed to you, you can open it. Or if you like go into your own SkyDrive, you can open a document from SkyDrive. For example, this current event article that I wrote. So you can download Word, Excel, PowerPoint documents from the internet. Um, unfortunately, it's opening a mobile view of it. I just want to download the document. So that's a problem occasionally when SkyDrive thinks it's smart enough to open a mobile version of the document when you simply just want to open it in Word. This time it works and you can click download. And you can tap on the file to open it. So here's a document I wrote on the computer. As you can see it keeps the formatting of bolded text, bullet point text, headers, numbers, etc. Now some of the features that they like to talk about on Word for Windows Phone is that you can comment on things like you can add a comment right there and 
So I just added a comment on that. And then you can view comments right there. You can add another comment to it. You can find things. Find things in the document. And then you can send the document to other people. But most importantly, you can edit something. So say I want to add part two to that. You can edit things. You can change that word, delete that. You can change the formatting here to unbolded text. And then it's unbolded. And can change it tile size, strikeout, highlighted, and font color. There's only three font colors. <laughs> Doesn't do much. But one thing that's nice is you can select there and then actually drag. You can usually drag horizontally like that to select a bunch of text. Drag horizontally, select a bunch of text, and then format that text here. So I change to that font color, and it'll change the font color. So there actually is highlighting in Windows Phone 7. You kind of have to just get lucky and get it to work. Still really haven't figured it out. Okay, so how you, how you highlight is you tap on a word and then drag to the left. And then you can highlight it. And you can increase the font size. Or do something else with it if you want. And those are all the formatting options. You can add a new list. Let's go to the bottom of the document. Add in something here. List. I add. Actually, you can't add bullet point lists in Word. That's a bit disappointing. You actually can add those lists, bullet point lists, in. OneNote, however, if we go there, test, and then you can add a bullet point there, and you can number stuff, etc. So there's definitely features missing in Word. In Excel, you can open up Excel as usual. Um, you can edit formulas. Um, let's write a quick formula. There is pinch to zoom. It's a bit choppy though. It's not like fluid. So if we click on this cell and then write in a number, say 67, and then 45, 32, or 20, <laughs> and then we can add in a formula for the average of, hmm, so we can write a, mm -hmm. You can write formulas. Let's just do this sum.
so you can add your formulas and there you have the sum it's not nearly as easy as on the computer where you can just like highlight a section maybe there is an option to highlight cells you can format cells but you cannot highlight a number of cells unless it has a special way of highlighting mm. so you can actually select cells so let's say we want to create a new average here equals range of no you still can't select multiple cells when you're creating a formula That's a bit of a pain. You can comment on stuff just like in Word. You can format cells or apply filters to lists. So it does have some powerful features, but it's definitely not going to replace your desktop. And then you have PowerPoint. Or you can flip through your slides. And you can actually open up a PowerPoint that you have online. Like, I'll open up a PowerPoint from my SkyDrive here to show you how it supports transitions. Mm. There we go. Just getting a bad signal for a second. open my research project, but that one's not that interesting. Try to find a better document. Well, that's the best I have right now. So I'll open up the research project, and you can download it and tap to open it in PowerPoint. I don't have any transitions on these, but it shows how the formatting is and shows that you can edit things. You can make notes or view an outline. Like say I want to edit that text. Then you actually tap it, and you can open it up. You cannot rotate it. You can open it up and delete that, and, and when you're, once you're done editing, it'll automatically put the changes in there. And say so you're done editing. You can... Add notes. Write a note about this slide. And that's about it. For the most part, it'll keep your formatting spot on from the computer, but sometimes things will be formatted incorrectly. And transitions usually work completely.
then if you have SharePoint at your office, you can connect to SharePoint and download all your documents that way. Otherwise, the common user is stuck with opening up SkyDrive in their web browser and downloading documents or emailing them to themselves. And that is Office for Windows Phone 7.